Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Randall Murph here. Tuesday, uh, July 24th, 2018 AD. The day is almost over. It's 2349, almost 2350, which means it's about 10 minutes, it's on seconds, or it's 10 minutes, or a few seconds, several seconds, more than a few. More than several, actually. Okay. 12, 10 seconds, still 50s, which means 10 minutes, a few seconds, some seconds. Anyway! Let's talk about my Jeep. Well, it's not my Jeep Cherokee Sport anymore. Approximately 12 years ago, or 12 and a half years ago, um, I needed a vehicle. My grandmother, uh, after some time, um, her friend Carolyn Hardesty, uh, knew somebody that, that, or her neighbor across the street had this for sale, and she told, and she found out about it, and she told Grandma, and Grandma told me. Grandma decided to buy it for me, which was very nice, very unexpected, and I really appreciate it because really, at the time I really needed it. Um, I was thinking uh, she paid six thousand, but it may have been five thousand. Either way, there was uh, several hundred dollars in taxes, plus I had to get a license plate and registration and blah blah blah. So. It was between six and seven thousand dollars when everything, or just just under six thousand, or under just under seven thousand when everything was said and done. Again, I don't remember. It's been a while. It's been. Pfft. And today, when the guy came to buy it, we looked up the information. And it turns out I thought it was 1996. It turns out it was a 1999, which maybe I could maybe sold it sooner if I knew that. But anyway, I I just hadn't been I hadn't been industrious enough to go out and look at the tags and. I'll look up the other information. So it was a 1999. Um, I've had it since I've had it since 2006, which means I've had it 12 years. And uh, we did the math, and basically, the price of owning it compared to the purchase price is approximately $500 a year, which for a lot of people is how much they pay for a car payment per month. So I got a great really, grandma paid for it, but nonetheless, it was a really good deal when you when you consider I had it for twelve years. And I drove it for about ten of those. Um, let me talk about it. The condition, uh, the engine's good. The rear door lock needed to be repaired, and it will. The guy that bought it will if he's going to use the back door, he's going to have to repair it, and he'll probably want to because. He talked about putting on a trailer hitch and a boat, so he he'll probably want to fix that lock to the back door. Um, the battery was dead in a doornail. The gas tank needed filled. The key was broken off into the uh, to half in the ignition switch. Um, but we figured out that if the battery had been charged good, it would have started. Uh, it's just the fact that. The battery was dead or we we charged it for about twenty minutes, and it's still I mean it the be, the beepers and noises on the inside started going off and worked and it just it didn't have enough power to crank up the engine to get it going. Plus, I don't think it had any, even if it did, I don't think it had any gas. The guy that was buying it said he didn't we didn't have to have any gas, but I think he did. To be honest with you, either way, it didn't start because it didn't have battery power. But uh, I was originally asking five thousand. I lowered it down to two thousand, and he offered me a thousand dollars or twelve hundred if I could get it started. And that's the finally the price he we worked down to. And then we basically determined that you're going to have to spend about 50, 60 bucks to get a battery, or between 40 and 60 bucks to get a battery, probably. And so he, he I said, well, can you give me 12, 50? And he's like, no. I said, well, what are you going to do? And he goes, okay, I'll split it with you. Um, since it wasn't running, but he knew he wouldn't have to spend that much to actually get it running. Um, just basically a new battery, or either charge up the one I've got in it, or get a new battery for about fifty bucks. He said, "Okay, I'll split it with you, eleven hundred." And 
I talked to mom for a few minutes, and I said, okay, we'll do it. Let's do 1100 Um, because I need the money, and it's just, I mean, I didn't want to have, I'll be honest, I didn't want to have to sell this Jeep. I would have, if, all the, if all things were equal and I had money, I would have fixed it up and kept it and updated it. But the truth of the matter is, I just don't have the money. And mom, mom was right. She said I wasn't going to pay for it to do it. And I, and I don't really blame her. Um, I mean, again, if I had the money to fix it up, I would have. Um, no doubt about it. Because I, I, I would have rather kept the Jeep. But under the, but under my current financial situation and the circumstances. Um, the Jeep's going to be used, where it's going, the guy said he's going to fix it up some, and he was either going to give it to his daughter, or he was going to keep it, he hadn't decided yet, but he did say he was going to put a trailer hitch on it so he could hook up a trailer and, and pull a boat, so it's probably going to have a trailer hitch on it before too long, um, and hopefully, like I said, hopefully the guy will fix, be able to fix the, whatever needs to be fixed to get it the the battery and you know he'll put in more fluids and change the oil and probably get the keys out of the ignition switch and get the back door work uh, lock fixed maybe not I don't know but I got the impression he was gonna, he was gonna fix it up and maybe paint it or basically make it look better and uh, he said he didn't want uh, basically he just wanted something he could haul his boat around he said. But uh, but he also said his daughter was wanting a Jeep, so maybe he was going to give it to her. He had I don't think he really decided, to be honest with you. Um, because he said he, he wanted it, Paul's boat, but he also knew his daughter wanted one. So I don't, I don't know if maybe they'll share it or... When I signed it over to, uh, signed it, I didn't sign, put a name on it. So he, he said, just leave the plate, the cell two name blank, and he could fill it in with his, his name or his daughter's name or whoever. I said, fine, I don't care. I'll be honest. It doesn't really matter to me. I mean, he got possession of it. He gave me the money. He gave me $1,100 in cash. Um, and uh, that was that. I'm, I'm feeling kind of emotional because, it, for me, it's kind of the end of an era of not having the Jeep. I've had the Jeep, even though it's just sitting there. It's, it's kind of, it's a reminder of Grandma. It's a reminder of the experiences and the things I've done while I've had the Jeep. I mean, I mean, it seems odd to be sentimental over a thing, but I am a little bit. Um, I mean, it's eventually going to rust, and he's going to have to scrap it, or somebody else scrap it. I mean, things come and go. I realize that, and but. I had some good experiences and good times in the Jeep, and um, it, just having it there was kind of a reminder of some of those. And I've got lots of pictures of uh, with it, and you know, doing things in it and different, at different places. And like I said, I got some good memories um, doing things with different people, and you know, traveling with people, and some of them who, like John Fisher, who are now dead. I uh, did stuff with him in it, and Gerald, and Mom, and uh, David Wilson, and just, just different people. And uh, I've got, like I said, memories of uh, when Grandma got it for me. I was really excited. I remember that. And it's just lots of memories, lots of emotions. I mean, like I said, ideally if I had the money to fi keep it and fix it up, I would have, but I didn't. I don't, and it doesn't seem likely that I will, unless I win the lottery, it's, and even then it's too late, the guy's already, it's already gone, so, um, but, uh, like I said, I just want to make a little video, this is the day of my life, um, the day's almost over. In fact, I've got about a minute to go. So I'm going to end this video while it's still the July 24th. Because I've got about a minute to go. Uh, actually, right now I've got less than a minute. So to keep this all on the July 20, 24th, 2018, I want to say thanks for watching. Have a good day. And I appreciate If you're watching this all the way to the end, I appreciate listening to me ranting. But I'm, I'm feeling kind of emotional because it's gone now. And um, that's kind of why I want to make this video. 
because I am feeling those emotions. So I appreciate if you're watching this all the way. Thanks for watching it all the way through. Or until next time, I'm Ryan Rooms. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. May God bless you. Safe travels.